the present topic of essay for BA part second paper second is the essay written by G.K. Chesterton on the pleasure of no longer being very young. G.K. Chesterton wrote essays, history, biography, criticism, fiction, poetry and drama. His volume of essays include Tremendous Trifles, A Shilling for My Thought, All Things Considered, his striking features are balance, antithesis, paradox, didactism, humor, well-stocked memory, spirited defense of his own point of view. About the title of the essay, On the Pleasure of No Longer Being Very Young. The title on the pleasure of no longer being very young is an example of Chestertonian paradox. It is a piece of truth which is generally very little realized. Chesterton has used the trick of verbal inversion to defend and bring out his point of view. Theme The essay gives arguments in favor of old age which are very rarely realized. Most writers apologize youth, but here Chesterton enumerate points of benefits of old age in worldview with verbal illustrations. Summary The essay is replete with amusing arguments which stand opposite to the general notion of old age as enumerated in traditional in traditional viewpoint. The general notion of old age is that they have long white beard with unfathomable wisdom. Author says that when he or we all realize the real advantages of old age, these advantages appear paradox because men never grow wise and many old people become more adventurous and romantic in their old age as compared to their re, to their old age as compared to their young age. The real advantage of old age is that those idioms, proverbs, traditions, maxims and institutions which had appeared stale and dead in their young age start seeming sensible 
and meaningful in their old age. When man was young, he found himself stuffed with old, dead and meaningless things. But as he grew up with those things, he experienced with them, his experience with them make him realize their usefulness and meaningfulness. He is born amongst dead things, but when he grow old, everything around him seems fresh, young and lively. The second advantage of old age is that young people do not realize modernity or any change around them because they are born with it and into it. It is old people who had seen the older era can feel, realize and make out the modernity cult and its effects. They also know that whatever is boasted of in the lure of modernity and youth by the passage of time the same person would take a back seat and realize that nothing much changes in life society and in the world. It moves on as it had been moving before. The essayist has used numerous illustrations examples from all walks of knowledge that leaves an intellectual impact of the essayists on the reader. Examples of maxims, proverbs, literature, politics, history, economics, science, faith, art, art forms makes his point of view strong and puts lasting impression on the reader. Chesterton's worldview. Chesterton gives an in-depth sight of the stages of life, society and world. His broad world view can be made out by the drops of truth 
he has realized in his life and tells about all the stage stages of man when talking of old age faith is the biggest and strongest thing man can cherish in his life because this is the only thing that is left with him in his crippling old age thank you